I'm going to give you guys the best settings in game and to optimize your PC for Apex Legends in Season 20. So you can get that crazy FPS boost and make your game look a lot better. So to start off, you want to go to settings on your PC. Just search up settings in your taskbar. And then you want to go to gaming and you want to hit game bar. You want to make sure you have game bar turned off because this will also make your PC perform worse on games. And then you want to go back and and hit game mode as well and then you want to have game mode right here turned on because this is going to optimize your pc blade play by turning things off in the background so this is going to help a ton by removing like background apps and stuff so that you can have the best game mode for when you're playing games and then you want to go ahead and hit on system display and then graphics and you want to go ahead and hit on apex legends and you've got to go ahead and put browse and then find wherever you download loaded apex click on it and you will select high performance this is going to make sure that you have the best performance ball when you're playing apex impact prompt style i have this on compact it just makes less clutter when you're picking things up button hints I actually have this turned on, but you can really have this on or off if you want to. Crosshair damage feedback, I just have it on the third one. Damage numbers, I have it on stacking. Ping opacity, I have it on faded. Obituaries, I have this on. Minimap rotation on. Weapon auto cycle on empty, I have this off. Then also auto sprint, I have this on. Double tap sprint off. Jetpack control hold. Incoming damage three, three back 3D. Taking damage closes death box or crafting menu off because say you're in storm and you're trying to craft, you're not going to be able to craft if it closes it whenever you take damage. Off screen portraits on. Hop hop up pop up on streamer mode off anonymous mode disabled usage sharing disabled performance display on communication filter everybody reticle custom and then laser sight custom i believe i have this on green right now so if you guys want to go ahead and use that then there you go it's a really good color for all the different maps then i also have colorblind mode off subtitles off subtitle size normal this one off Convert incoming voice to text chat off and play incoming text chat as speech as well. Then if we go over to video, you want to make sure you're in full screen. I, I play on 1440, but you can play whatever res you want to really. I have my brightness on 60, my FOV on the max, which is 110. FOB ability scaling, you want this off because playing Octane or something and you use his stim, your screen to stay the same. So make sure you have this off. Sprint view shake. I have this on minimal so it doesn't shake when you're sprinting. V-Sync disabled, NVIDIA reflex enabled, adaptive resolution FPS target zero, then adaptive super sampling disabled. It's actually this right here. So if you want, you can go ahead and put texture streaming budget on none, but it will look make your game look worse it makes your game really blurry so you can either have this on none or you can turn it up a little bit just so that it doesn't look awful as you can see if i have it on none right here when i reset my game all the textures will be really low whereas if i can go ahead and put this on one above maybe if i put it on very low then it doesn't say it right here as you can see on none it says warning and then on very low it doesn't say it so either none or very low it's up to you and then everything else is on low or disabled literally all of these billionaire disabled low low disabled 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 low low disabled low all of these you want on the lowest possible because it is going to give you the highest fps boost you possibly can get so yeah that is everything that you guys need to know about how to boost your fps and performance on apex legends hopefully you guys did all enjoy today's video if you did make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you all tomorrow.